Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be watching. This time we're going to look at headers and footers in Excel worksheets and files. Here I see some data on the screen which, because they're salaries, they may well be considered as confidential and we may like to place a uh, header or a footer on the page to indicate that very situation. To insert headers or footers, I click the insert command and over here in the text group I see header and footer. Up pops the header and footer view and I see that there are three sections in the headers. I'll click in the left section and I want my header to read page X of Y. Page one of however many pages. So I'll type the word page followed by a space and then in the design tab I see the page number so I'll click on page number in the header and footer elements group page number then I'll type a space and type the word of space and I'll now put the number of pages now let's have a look how this header appears I only see a header and a footer when I'm in print preview mode. So I'm going to go to file, print, and there is my header, page one of one. While I'm here, I think to myself, well, I might like to have this data uh, in a different position on the page for when it prints. And to do that, uh, just as a little bit of extra information, over here, last custom margin settings, I'll click that drop arrow and then click custom margins and put a tick in horizontally and vertically for center on page and when I click OK that's exactly what it does. Now go back to the home tab and you'll notice that whilst we're looking at the header and the footer that I see certainly what is in the header and the footer but if I change my view back to normal view from page layout I do not see the header and the footer so I only see the header and the footer in either page layout or in print preview now let's add a, another header and in this case I'm going to say confidential so I can type text into a header no problem confidential and if I drag through the text and go to the home tab I can also format that text as, as well so I'll make it a little bit bigger just by increasing the font size and I see it's centered by default over here I might like to put the um, in the in the header view by clicking design I might like to click the file name and it puts the code in for file now, just as a matter of interest, with the file name, if I hold down the control key and press enter, I can put another line in that header. And uh, we, might, um, we might name the sheet here. We'll rename the sheet and call it... Now, back to the, um, back to the design of the headers. Notice I had to click in the header to see this design. So back to design and now I can go down to the footer and um, I'm given some uh, uh, pre-designed uh, information here that I can put into the footer. Um, let's put uh, salaries page one down here in the footer. So I simply had to click but of course if I don't want that then I can click there and delete what is in there and I might say um, prepared by Mary Smith she may well be the boss's secretary and over here I'll put the date so when I'm up here and click on design I can put the current date in there and uh, that will change of course every time the, uh, the file is opened so that's how I make my headers and footers. 
let's have a look at the file in print preview so back to the home uh, tab uh, in file print print preview and there I see exactly what I needed in my headers and footers it can be very very handy uh, we haven't put in things like the file path of course but we could we put the file name up there I could have put the file path in as well by simply adding another line to whichever header or footer element that I wished hopefully you found this handy it is not difficult of course like all situations a little bit of practice is involved but uh, with practice you'll be fine thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe unless you've already done so and uh, we love likes and comments again thank you for watching see you next time